Do you know how many berries out there help reduce cancer? There's so many out there. There's so many fruits and vegetables, plants out there from God that grow from God's green earth for you to eat. Today, we're going to be talking about H3O2. Now, in case you don't know what H3O2, I have a piece of watermelon right here as an example, as an option for something that contains H3O2. Now, for those of you who don't know, H3O2 is the molecular breakdown of more hydrogen than oxygen compared to H2O. You see what I'm saying? So instead of like H2O is regular water, H2O is two hydrogen and one oxygen molecule. H3O2 is three, three hydrogen molecules and two oxygen molecules. So what does that say? More hydrogen and oxygen. Now, for those of you who don't know, H3O2 is the fourth phase of water. You got liquid, vapor, and ice. The fourth phase is the gel phase or crystallized phase, depending on which nomenclature you want to use. Doesn't matter. H3O2 on a molecular level is going to be the most superior version. And if this is your first time joining and this is your first time viewing the channel, this is Slay Edge Media. Welcome. And I like to talk about a lot of different things. First off, I like to put the power in people's hands through education because knowledge is power. A lot of people wonder what, what is acidity versus alkaline? What's, what's alkaline foods? What does pH level mean? How do I gain muscle? What, what does it mean? What, how, do, how does it interpret? Do I have to work out the same way Joe Schmo does or can I work out a different way? All right. So today we're talking about H302 and this is part two of H302. On part one, I just broke down what H302 is and how it can be beneficial to your body. Now, we're gonna go a little bit deeper into it and talk about the best, or I would say my favorite form of H302. Now, a lot of people don't know that hydrogen has tremendous benefits for the human body. I'll put the benefits up right now. But when you consume hydrogen, mm, 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 you give your body one of the essential elements needed to do its everyday functions better. Now think about that be able to do what you need to do better. So H3O2 is the fourth phase of water. Now there's some synthetic means to make H3O2, but the best natural form of H3O2 is going to be within fruit, all right? H3O2 is found in fruits and vegetables. Now it's been processed and filtered by the earth. No wonder this is God's food. This is God's plant right here. Now, whether it's a GMO or organic, either way it goes, if you're consuming it, you're going to benefit. Don't let something, the fact that it's not organic, stop you from not consuming H302. Because if you're not consuming it, if you're saying, oh, I can't afford organic, so I'm not even going to try, you're thinking ignorantly. I'll tell you that. I'm not trying to hurt anybody's feelings, but you're thinking ignorantly by bypassing the non-organic section just because you can't afford organic, all right? I hardly eat the organic session, but I still get plenty of benefits. Now, if the organic stuff goes on sale, I'm, I'm copping it, you know what I mean? But most of the time, the fruits and vegetables I'm eating is not organic because I know that today's society, we live in a society where business is key. So even a lot of food and stuff that's not organic, these big businesses, they know the loopholes to where they can still get that organic label on it. Now, I'm not saying that all the stuff that's labeled organic isn't organic. I'm just saying that everything is and always what it seems and just because it's organic doesn't mean it's the best thing out there for you all right you could be eating organic fruit but if you eat cake the rest of the day it doesn't mean nothing you know you could eat organic watermelon all you want but if the rest of the crap you eat is acidic your acidic is going to overflow on the the little bit of alkaline you're trying to put in your food right now for those of you who don't know Food containing high levels of hydrogen is essential for your body's everyday function. It can help your body heal, basically. Now, the reason why fruit is the best work of H3O2 is because it contains more than just water. You get vitamins, minerals, enzymes. All these things are key elements for the body to do what it needs to do. You ever have muscle spasm? That's because you're low on minerals. You have trouble with your with your body seeing and stuff, and you got trouble with your joint pain. You low on minerals. You low on vitamins. You need those, the natural ones, all right? Because, like I say, fresh is best, all right? Fresh fruit and vegetables going to have more vitamins and minerals and hydrogen than, say, cooked fruits and vegetables. Cooked fruits and vegetables. The hydrogen literally 
the more you cook it, the more acidic it becomes. Have you ever had like a, a jar of tomato sauce and you compare that to like some fresh made tomato sauce? Now, of course, yes, the cooked tomato sauce, either way it goes, you're not getting as much hydrogen, vitamins, and minerals as you could from a fresh tomato. But when you make it fresh with your own tomatoes, you get less of that acidity because think about how acidic it is when you add preservatives. You cook down so much that it can just sit in the jar. They add all kinds of salt and all kind of extra, extra, extra stuff. So you eat that and it's probably going to give you back pain that night. You're getting inflammation, everything. How many of you know that what I'm talking about? Hit the like button if you know what I'm talking about. You eat something and instantly you start feeling back pain or something. Make sure y'all share this video because I'm pretty sure you got an aunt uncle auntie grandma grandpa who don't know nothing about alkaline versus acidic food now a lot of people don't know what ph level is either right ph is potential hydrogen that what we were just talking about h3o2 h3o2 is more hydrogen than regular water right so you want to get fruit because fruits and vegetables because well let me start this fruits and vegetables with high ph level because fruits and vegetables with high ph level not only have high tremendous amounts of hydrogen i can't stress this enough plus you also get the vitamins and minerals that help your body heal enzyme antioxidants do you know how many berries out there help reduce cancer there's so many out there there's so many fruits and vegetables plants out there from god that grow from god's green earth for you to eat these fruits and vegetables are out here for you now it's just a shame that we live in a society where our god-given right we have to pay for it you know but I understand we, we live in a, we live in the modern age, but that's why I make these videos because I'm trying to do my part to bring heaven to earth. And one of the essential steps is education. You people need to be educated about this. A lot of people don't even understand the importance of eating fruits and vegetables. Most people prefer to eat just meat. They want to eat meat all day. Oh no, I need my protein. You sit at a desk all day not doing nothing, but you talking about you need some protein. You don't do nothing. Most people don't even live the lifestyle to support the kind of food they're taking in. Some people take foods that are so starchy and that are just they're just causing all kind of damage on their body. Not to mention they eat all these starchy foods that are complex carbs and hard to digest. So then you're tired first thing in the morning. Complex carbs and foods that are hard to digest should be eaten at the end of your day when you're done doing all the hard stuff. During the beginning of the day, you want to eat foods that like, see like this watermelon right here. It ain't got nothing left, but you can eat this all the way down to the skin because the rind contains condensed vitamins and minerals as well. Watermelon, for those who don't know, is a one, is one, just one, one of the plants out there that help increase blood flow. All right. Another thing that helps increase blood flow is beetroot. That's why one of my favorite drinks or supplements to have is spirulina with beetroot powder. So not only do I get the vitamins, minerals, amino acids, protein, increased gut health, brain health from the spirulina, you also get the performance enhancing benefits from the beetroot powder. And the beetroot powder kind of takes that kind of nasty, nasty edge flavor of the spirulina away. So they kind of go perfect together. There's also plenty of other things out there that you can have to help increase blood flow. And that's just one aspect of fruits and vegetables or what they can do for your body. Imagine the foods out there that can help reduce inflammation like pineapple. Pineapple is just one of them. You can get turmeric too as a herb, but fresh is best, as I always say. So don't let your inability to afford all your food to be organic to stop you from getting that hydrogen. Because even GMO foods, even GMO fruits and vegetables are still high in hydrogen. Now, the only thing that you're missing out on is the ratio to vitamins, minerals, and sugar that's or and antioxidants as well that's within the non-organic versions. But you still get it. I'll give you an example of something that's not organic to life, but still very powerful. Sorry, I gotta gotta finish the rest of this. I don't wish none. All right. So in nature, a lion and a tiger would never mate together. But because of today's society, you know, they like to experiment in zoo and such and such. Somehow, these zoologists have found a way to mate a lion and a tiger, and they came up with the liger. Now, if you've seen a liger, a liger is bigger and stronger, more more crazy looking than a lion or a tiger. This thing is ridiculous. It's like a lion tiger on steroids. Like It's like the lion and tiger did the fusion dance. Phew! They did the fusion dance and became the liger. It's ridiculous. This thing is huge. So you can't tell me that just because it's not organic, it ain't powerful. I'm pretty, I, would, I, would, I don't even want to go near that thing. That thing is crazy. Another example, another animal that's being used 
all the time throughout the world is the mule, but the mule can't reproduce. All right, that's a horse and a donkey put together, you get a mule. So a good way to know that you got an unorganic fruit or vegetable is if it's seedless, because all fruits come with seeds naturally. But when you do this crossbreeding, referred to as GMO, when you do this crossbreeding to encourage like high growth yield and like, you know, sweeter plants, brighter, et cetera, et cetera, just for the sake of having more plants growing for less dollars, you're not gonna have seeds anymore. The seeds go away. They make plants breed that probably would never breed together due to natural selection, et cetera, et cetera. So make sure you guys do your own research because knowledge is power. And quit making excuses. Get yourself some fruit, some vegetable, and make it. Get, get in the kitchen. Start experimenting. You don't got to go straight to eating everything raw. If you got to start out eating cooked fruits and vegetables to, to get you to that point, if you got to start out with non-organic fruit until you can get to that point where you can afford all the organic fruit in the world, start with what you can, all right? Because you're still going to benefit from it, all right? Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.